Just so you know, if you have third-party collections or collections that are outside the statute of limitations or charge-offs that are outside the statute of limitations or, you know, you're not worried about them coming after you in court, now we're going to go before we dispute with the credit bureaus and use the validation of debt process. What the heck is the validation of debt process? Well, it's actually really simple. I've done many videos on it, and we've been talking about this as part of my current series, okay? So if you wanna access the entire validation of debt process with the letters and everything that can literally remove charge-offs and collections, then go check out sendme2.co forward slash collections, okay? It's like a whole series of eight, uh, eight letters utilizing uh, FCRA 623, a3 and um, FDCPA 8078. So we are basically lying to them and saying that we want proof that something is ours, that we owe it, blah, blah, blah. But in fact, what we're trying to do is get them to not enter that notice of dispute, right? So same thing with the credit bureaus, but the credit bureaus are about 10 times more likely to enter this notice. And that's why we don't want to do that. We don't want to jump straight to the credit bureau. So now we sent off our validation of debt for those relevant accounts. Wait, about 10, 15 days or so. And now you're going to send out round one to the credit bureaus. Okay. So if you are going through this and your credit bureau disputes are the first thing that you're doing, again, you're doing it wrong. You're literally adding on unnecessary time just because you didn't take a couple of minutes to get the process right, okay? You are not jumping straight to your credit bureau disputes. You need to suppress, you need to do your personal information, and then we need to go and do validation of debt, okay?